we're on the Columbia River. Of course, it's uh, primo dry fly time. It's uh, early July. The fish are not so smart because they're up feeding all the time. Now, big first big hatches of the year always start kind of mid-June, carry on into July, and then they really get cranking in the evenings in July. I want to do a little mini video today and just show people how we're fishing it. You know, we'll fish the calm waters with, uh, with emergers and dries, and then we go way out in the faster flow with big dries because you can get away with it because the water's moving so fast. So hopefully we'll get some action for you today as we take you sport fishing on the Sport Fishing on the Fly is brought to you by Maui Jim Sunglasses. First, Tellurium Corp, the future of mining. And Hardy, rods and reels. Oh, <laughs> mid-river. <laughs> he's right off the binger. Oh, and he's, he's way out there. Well, he didn't. He looked decent sized, Matt. Yeah. See, how, nice see how tough they are when they get in that current? Oh, man. He's... <laughs> Look, he's way down the end of the... Oh, oh yeah. he's way in the back. Well, they can get out yeah. in that big flow. Well, that's what happened. And then they go here. deep. And he then went. you're toast. Right? You got to battle them back. He went that right out in the center. Oh, that's why you got to have six-way rods. Yeah, this is a ten, ten foot six-way. Ten foot six, too. exactly. And thick tippet. Yeah. So what do you got on for tippet? Uh, ten pound. Ten pound. <laughs> off the yeah. net. Yeah, ten pound test. Off. Yeah, it's just, just the way it is. If you want to get them in, and you know we're using fairly stout hooks. What, a size 16 you got on or 14? 14. 14. No, 16. That's 16. the smaller guy right. I put this today. <laughs> Look at that. how come your line's so uh, I've got to catch up. And then you catch uh, now, up and now then he's you go. coming in the back eddy. Yeah. Then the worst part is they'll come with the current, right? Yeah. That wasn't even your fish that jumped there. That was a different fish. Spooked him. Must have hit your line. Yeah. Can't miss your bobber out there. No. <laughs> size of that indicator. Oh, looks like a nice one again. Yeah. Big scream and run, and look at the size of that fish. Yeah, the right? prime shape, oh, eh, chrome. And... chrome, you bet. And they're fat, healthy fish. That's just the way it is in here. They're all big, fat, healthy fish. Look at the size. I mean, look at the back on them. Oh. That's what oh, they get in the Columbia, that's a... you know, right? They just get, look at the back. That's a look, chunk. Look at, looks like a coal. <laughs> look at his back. It's, it's not even normal. <laughs> He's so fat, right? It is. They are. Yeah, They're just like a stump yeah. lake fish. They're or, just obese. Yeah, yeah it, it is. is. It does look like a stump lake He's fish. He's a beast. Yeah. <laughs> that's why they scrap so good, yeah. right? There's a little nymph. But look at the back on him. Yeah, you got to hold that guy up <laughs> and show everybody because that's just, it's just not he normal, is. right? He is. Can you hold the net? So that just shows you about, uh, you know, the healthy feed. Yeah. When, they're, when okay. you get fish that really get a back like that, their head is small and they get a real big back, yeah, it just means they're healthy. Look at how fat he is. Jeez. He's just oh, not man. normal for the size of his head and length. He isn't. Look no. at that. He's got like a humpback head. Like he's just... <laughs> Yeah, I know. That's what I say. There he goes. He's happy. <laughs> oh, just a beast. Jeez, just a beast. The, little, the little hump. I know. Back, like a little hunchback Crazy. going through the behind the head. Oh, well, wow, that's good. Yeah. Yeah. Right on. Good. That was very quick. We'll keep using the nymph, yeah, and nymph. we'll keep looking out to see if they start rising. Oh, and he just got off. Oh. That was right away. Right away. 
Yeah, this one, smaller. downsized. Yeah. Downsized. That's what I did. We started bigger, getting the tops, went the downsize. Yep, it was same, good. Same colors, just smaller? No, no, different. totally different colors. I go to a little, I got a little special blue guy. A blue guy? Yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's a Prince nymph, but I tie it with a slightly oh, no. gray blue body, blue dun. Blue dun's a killer for crannies, everything, blue dun killer. So I tie that one with blue dun right off the bat. It works good. We may show people that one too. We'll see. <laughs> There's a lot of secrets he's got out here <laughs> that he doesn't expose or disclose. <laughs> Had to change over to the to the old uh, special. <laughs> hey, he has yet to disclose the special fly. But you know, they just uh, they wanted that smaller, right? Yeah. We just had to go with the smaller. Yeah, but then again, we've been using big drives before. You know, in the in the pre-fish, you know, big size twelves and stuff, carpet caddis. When they get a little more picky in this calm water. The key is go small. So we've got a special fly. Yeah, I call it, we call it an emerger. It's more like a cripple, but uh, it works great in different sizes. Of course, best size, usually an 18. <laughs> I've snuck out, put on a 14, and the oh, guy ate it. Good, because the yeah. 18, it's tough. And it's We've a nice so one. many hook bend outs. And oh yeah. This fish is yeah, 18s are tough. You know, I use a lot of 18s, but uh, they can be really tough. And this is a, it's a good fish. Columbia River at its finest. Always kicker. Oh. Now with the six, with the 18, I would have had trouble. Yeah. But I think, I can't remember if this is a 16 or 14. I tied up, I always tie them up in different sizes, but this is a. Oh, it's a nice fish. This is a nice fish, yeah, healthy. And just being fighting great. Look at how fat and healthy they are, jeez. <laughs> Oh, they wallow down there. It's really nice. Oh, yeah. Why well, oh. anytime you midday dry fly? Yeah, time. yeah. Oh, look at that. And catching fish, yeah. you know, this size is exceptional. Oh, there he beauty. is. Oh, yeah. And he didn't no. bend the hook out. <laughs> no, no, that's the beauty. Yeah, I and got he's, the, I got he's, the net. he's coming that's off the, you know, took it right on the top where you expect to get him. In the tough, oh, in the tough, oh no, oh gee, gone. <laughs> oh well, well not, did you do? it's a nice fish. It was a nice that. fish. Oh, I got him going in there. Yeah, no, it was good. Oh well, there <laughs> it is there. Bigger. Far distance. <laughs> yeah, distance, <laughs> there it is there. The cripple, it's a winner. But yeah, that's, uh, and you see, even that, he bent out a little yeah. bit. Yeah, they're, they're tough. Oh, that's big fish. Yeah, that was. I'll bend it back. It's always good, just bend it back. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's crazy. It's tough though, eh? Well, on the foam, I can't, uh, every time the wind blows that, like when it comes around that cycle, yeah, it's like you can get them off the front, but I'm at the back, and when the tail out, it drags. Oh. So you got to kind of fish it upstream. Yeah, it's in this stuff. Yeah, it's up they in there. They all come back in here with the flow. And plus, you know what? We started with the uh, the 18, right? The smaller yeah. guy I kept bending them out, so I decided to go with a 16, go with something bigger, the 14, and they're still eating it. Yeah, that's so good. that's good. It's the pattern. Yeah. <coughs> well, it's definitely the pattern. I mean, this pattern has been a rock star for two years in a row in here, and unfortunately, we're not showing anybody that. Pattern. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> I give God. up all my secrets. Oh, okay, let me get this. Whoa. Good screaming runs. Oh, just awesome fish. Man, we fight so good in here and again. Six weight rods. Want the dry line, six weight rod, and you're all set. 
The other big key is long leaders. So when I cast, I'll show everybody, I let that fly flutter down. I don't lay it out because there's so many seams and currents. Yeah. You actually have to let that fly go, cast it almost parachute, and then it goes, yeah, flutters flutter down, down a bit. Yeah, yeah and then, then it can move, all your line can move with the currents because it has to be drag free. They won't, they won't, they won't touch it. Yeah when it's skittering at all. Yeah, versus like a normal caddis where you can get away with the oh, skitter. Oh, skitter, yeah. They'll okay. still hammer it on top, especially when the delts are skittering around. But in this calm stuff, you know, if it's not just sitting there high and dry, they no. will not touch and it. And cripples don't skitter. No, cripples, <laughs> cripples don't skitter. They, they know there. enough, the cripples don't skitter. And these are just the standard fish out here. They're just outstanding. Look at that. Oh, man, another gorgeous oh. fish. Beautiful. Okay, I think he ate it. There, where is he? No, right now, oh yeah, look at right now. Right down there. There, got it. There's the fly. Distance, <laughs> shot. <laughs> okay. All right, there he is there. Not huge, but look at that. Look at the oh, colors. So nice. They're just beautiful fish. There he goes. Wow, it's crazy. And look at, look at yeah. them boil in there. Yeah. That's where you gotta be, in that foamy stuff. Right yeah. there, I would just cast right oh, from here. Oh, it'd be here. perfect now, of course. <laughs> yeah. Filming now, the back is turned the proper way. Well, where you gotta keep working those angles. While the wind quit. Because yeah, when the wind exactly. was, the back end of the boat was swung screwing us up down. Yeah. And then I could never, when they came around, you couldn't make a cast. And I ganked this up pretty good. So you yeah. want to put gink on there. A lot of people don't like gink on their flies. You know, they say it leaves a film of silicon, blah, blah, blah. You know what? You gink it, you let it dry. That's the key. Don't gink it when it's wet and everything else. So I'll dry this up as best I can. Put some gink on. Allow it to sit for five minutes. Then yeah. I'll go again. So don't be in a rush. Patience is the key. <laughs> Out to the big flow now. Yeah. Well, we got a bunch on, we got a few on the Nymph. Yeah. We got a bunch on the Emerger. Emerger Different sizes, good. 18, 16. And then now we're on to the big size 12 fluffy <laughs> carpet well, cast. it's like the transition of a day. They got finicky. Yeah. And on the shelf, it's bright sun. It's hot. Yeah. It's hot. It's hot, no cloud, you know, our little club, but nothing helping us. Yeah, and there, you know, we fished all in here. So we're yeah. fishing all this soft water soft. we showed you. And they stopped eating the emerger. They were still coming up here and there, but they stopped eating the emergers and the nymphs. Weren't touching anything. Oh, so then we started noticing they were rising out here in the big flow, a few of them. Not as many, but a few. And we always know <sighs> in that fast water, the you can big, get away with big flies. The big fluffy. And that's where you got on. You Size know, you 12, the, yeah. You got the big carpet cast. Oh. Look at that chrome bullet, eh? He's chrome, this guy. Look at that. He's just gorgeous. Yeah, there just in the top. Yeah, flies out there. <laughs> we'll have to show everybody the big size 12 carpet cast. Everybody's yeah. seen him. But, but it's such a winner. He's nice. such a winner. Yeah. He's, oh, he's nice, and, nice and chrome. Oh, he's got yeah, yeah. Stuff. yeah, I took him in pretty hot. I was, I'll flip him out of here. He brought him in hot. Yeah. Oh yeah, look at that. Gorgeous. It's like, yeah. oh, boom. Boom. Gone. Bring him in hot. Okay, yeah. pull out that 12. Sure, everybody, everybody's seen the carpet oh, caddis. You yeah, know, we sell them big. all. We sell the 16s, the 14s, and the 12s on the site. But there's the, look at that. Look at the size of that. Can't beat it. After putting on a size 18, a merger to yeah. that, it's beautiful. It the floats high and dry fluff. up there. It's awesome. You like the big fluff. Oh, the fluff is great. <laughs> well, you can he cast doesn't, it out there. He doesn't like the delicate oh, casting. Oh, wow. Heck with that. He likes to just chuck it out there. And look at the, all the, through here. So the fish yeah. will come down this, right in the main flow, like right out in the main flow, and they'll pick that fly off. Yeah, like they've got, coming down. And they have to eat it. And that's the beauty of the big flies, right? They got to eat it because they see it, like that guy out there. Like yeah. it's just so awesome. 
to watch him feed. Look at yeah, him, that tongue him going. Yeah, look right at him there, going. Yeah. Oh, you better get it going again. That's get I, another one. That's where I was. Well, <laughs> right on. I'm going to have to dry this guy. Beautiful. Look at, yeah, they're coming on there. Oh, they're coming, yeah. Some, well, there's a bunch coming down. Get it up there. And get it going by. Oh, there, Dale, Dale, he took it. Oh, oh. I was looking up. <laughs> oh, how about that, eh, that oh. take? <laughs> oh, it's awesome. You know, just filming it, I'm yeah. enjoying more watching it, because because you turned away. Yeah, I turned to look I, back at yeah, the next one. Yeah, to look back at we the next one. Dale, Dale, he ate it. He ate it. <laughs> Oh, it's oh. so much fun when they're coming down there, isn't oh, it? Oh, yeah. But that's why these Columbia River bulls are so strong. You know, they got they just cruise around. They don't expend much energy. They just follow the back eddy, and they just go in these big flows to eat. Like, it's amazing. Look for those flies coming by in the yeah. big flow. And... So cardinal rule that we always have out here. When you get in the flat water, think small. small. You get in the bigger water, you can have a little more, a uh, little more leniency on the size of your fly. You know, yeah. we haven't gotten away with big flies in the calm, but you know, it's just they got to be really cranked up. Or at night, you yeah. got to be in at the night. evening yeah. later. Yeah, true enough. Yeah, they'll go on them on the big in the night. But yeah, not in the not in bright sunlight. No, like this. There's no, no it way. Is. Highs of 30 plus today yeah. Celsius, like hot. But they're still feeding. That's the beauty of late June, early July on the Columbia, is they feed all day. They will feed all day. Yeah. Wow. Jeez, this guy's scrappy, eh? Yeah, scrappy. Wow. Yeah, I thought it was the current, but he's back in the, the flow now. Look at him. Yeah. And you got to move around. You know, you you got to look and see, see where the heads are, how oh. they're feeding. You know, we've done everything, right? Yeah. We've done the nymph. Yeah. Well, if you look the at little. the fish off pasture rod, there's fish feeding right there, and they're just sipping. Sipping those emergers and this cripples guy, and this guy is strong. But I mean, look at the water. Look, it's just covered in stuff. <laughs> you got caddis, you got some spent mayflies, you got it all out here. He's yeah, where is he? He's staying down. No kidding. Gotta crank up and get a shot of him, but he's tough. He's down. I can't. Here he comes. Everybody's anxious to just see. Yeah. In case you lose him, oh, he's a big tank. Yeah. Oh, he's gorgeous. Yeah, yeah he's a big. That's oh, why. Oh, yeah. gorgeous fish. Wow. Look at that. Carpet caddis, right in the tip. Yeah. Oh. Beautiful. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> and see, that guy's coming off the. Uh, yeah. He's bulking yeah, he's got up. A little color. Yeah, got yeah. a little color, but that's you know that's what they do. They're right they're the... they've come off the spawn. They're hungry. They're bulking up. And that's why the fall is so good out here. You know, you get those big, these guys that bulk up, they put on another yeah. pound. Right in the, right in the snowder. Like yeah, now he knows. <laughs> well, you know what, I'm gonna keep, I gotta keep filming. I'm enjoying this. <laughs> this little mini and I love it because they're, they're all out, like I said, in this, in this tongue and I'm just gonna keep filming both sides and get some more. Okay. This is good. Okay. So what are you doing? What do you got? You got a you got the five, nine foot six weight. Yeah, nine. Yeah, foot nine six. foot six, really good for dry. Mm -hmm. Oh, there was a guy there. Yeah, I saw all him you're doing point. is just laying out. So there, the fly just landed right in that pocket water, and that's what you got to do. So drag free float the best you can. Right, they won't hit it on the skid no. right there. No, you got to have total drag free. Yeah. But I find if I go way up, if we see them coming and yeah. I go upstream. Okay, so you go way up top. Okay. Way up. Yeah. It gives you mend more. it all? Do you get the big mend well, in there? Well, it depends on the... Yeah, on the flow. So it is. It's technical fishing out here, right? You've got all these currents and flows. So it's not the easiest thing in the world, but you know what? It's very rewarding yeah. if you make the good cast. And you've got to be able to hold here, right? Yeah. With your, yeah. Your well, boat. that's why... That's why we've got that Minn Kota. Now, I can't stress it enough. Minn Kota is not a sponsor of ours. I wish they were, but they're not. But they make a fantastic electric motor. That is the Minn Kota Tarova. That Tarova, I mean, I just pulled it apart, gave it the full reno. 
Yeah. Thanks to YouTube. I love YouTube. It was awesome. <laughs> Showed me how to take it apart. And now it's working great. It's working better than ever. So you got to have mode here. It's a 24 volt system and it holds you in the right spot. It's got GPS, so auto anchor. And these holes are deep, right? They're, they can be up to, uh, well, the big hole's 150 feet deep. This one's about 60. So you don't want to be firing an anchor down there. No. Well, that's a good cast. Nothing so you got on a nice, that one. Oh, yeah, but look at nice drag free drift. That's the key. Drag free drift. Oh, look at all the way down. Oh, but nothing on it. Nothing That's the key, yeah, isn't you it? See them, you yeah. gotta see them. And you see them start at the head. Yeah. When they, because they're cycling through the whole back eddy, right. right? They're coming right around the whole. Oh, back like eddy. those guys. Look yeah. at those. Look there's at that some pod. on this one. Yeah, see? there's some on that one. I'll get in there. Okay. Oh yeah, look at that. Oh, and look at how high the trying that fly is. Come on. See, the pod might have gone already. Gone through. Yeah. Ah, too it depends bad. if you can get in okay, there. Okay, right timing. Now. Timing is everything. All right. Now, if I see him way up, yeah, then you're good. At the head, yeah. Okay. So we'll have to see. Cool. And they won't hit on this flat stuff. You no, know, you can they see never hit right here. here. Yeah. Throw the fly in there, no way. No, they never. Too hit much on the time. Fly. Yeah. <laughs> He's in. Went up and plucked him. <laughs> well, yeah. He I had put... his pepperoni <laughs> stick. He filmed a little bit. Ate, got up. Yeah. Took a few casts. Plucked, plucked him. him. Beautiful. Any uh, sides? Couldn't see him. I don't know. I couldn't see him. His nice, uh, nice head. I don't think he's huge, but he's, oh yeah, just nice. Okay. It's nice yeah, fish. well, there's not any, there's not a bad fish in here. Nope. It's just the best time of year, isn't it? Yeah. Early July, always. But you got to know the spots. You know, we've, uh, we've done this spot before for quite a bit. You know, we go everywhere from Castlegar all the way down the border. Right, we've got yeah. our big hole down below that we love, but that's more more the evening fish. Uh, this hole gets really busy uh, in the evening with the guides and stuff because it is one of the better better uh, holes on the river. But all through here, you'll have people hit all these different pockets, find a little back eddy, and the fish are in there. You just gotta have the right the right artillery. Get the carpet caddis. <laughs> gotta have a pack of the carpet caddis. Oh yeah, look at this carpet caddis. This time of year, you can't. No. Can't beat it. Can't beat it. Oh man. And like we said too, yeah, we're fishing the fast water now, but in the evening you can get away with that big carpet cat. Yeah. The, on the corner. Oh yeah, look right. at that. Oh, another gorgeous fish. Oh, yeah. Wow. Another beauty. And the beauty is you get them all right on the right in the tip. Right in that tough part. There it is. So big. The big size 12 carpet yeah. caddis. Always a winner. This is a cut bowl. Oh, is he? Oh, he's got, mm -hmm. if you he's look underneath, under he's got cuts there. So it could be a, could be a cut bowl combo. It's got great rainbow colors, but there. Mm -hmm. Very nice fish. Oh, huh. oh, we know every species is in here. <laughs> oh, jeez. Every. Every, every species every you can. Trout. We've heard of brown yeah. trout being caught, cutthroat. We've caught ourselves. Yeah. And our first time ever this year, the lake trout. The big lake you heck? caught. I know. I know any kind of, all kinds of trout in here. That's Bull trout we've caught. Yeah. So what's the only trout we haven't caught? Is there a species of trout we haven't caught in this river? I don't think so. Cutties, browns. No. I think the laker was the. Uh, we've gotten Dolly fun. Varden. We've got yeah. bull trout. We've got, no, I am. Huh? Every species. I would have never, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I don't know. It's all good. <laughs> Another one in the big flow. Well, that guy, it, I got him way out there, way out on the outside. Yeah. He ripped my line, had the big bow, you, because he was out in the big flow and he jumped by the back of the yeah. boat. Crazy. He ran right oh, over. Screaming him. back upstream. Yeah. Look at the colors. Oh. Yeah. There's just no oh, bad. Yeah, just in the, oh, underneath. Yeah, look at underneath. Well, because that's when they come up and grab it, right? Yeah. And miss it. You get them under the chin. It's so fast, yeah. You get them there. Good hook set. Yeah, no kidding. Yeah, he yeah. turned on it a bit. And he missed it in his mouth and you yeah. got him. Beautiful. Nice that boat. guy's in prime shape. That yeah, guy he is. He's gorgeous. No shaping up there. No. Nope. Beautiful. <laughs> Gone. <laughs> under the boat. Saw him up. Casting and just got to make the good cast straight up and then just little men's 
and just try to keep that fly floating along that seam as best you can. It's not easy, there's a lot of fish and you gotta pick up your line real quick. Like you make the cast and then strip that line back as fast as you can. Cause you gotta, just gotta remember this current's coming at you like real fast. So cast out and all I'm doing is picking up that line just so that fly gets a drag free drift. And you gotta be quick if you're uh, if you're not used to stripping in line quickly, you're gonna be in trouble because that water, that flow is coming at us fast. Wow, oh look at this. This looks like a nice little tongue. I don't see anybody on oh, it though. No. Look at how fast I'm having to pick up that line. If you don't pick up the line, what happens is you get slack in there and then you don't get a good hook set. So again, straight up and then just pick up that line as it comes back and keep a nice drag free drift, a little mend, a long drift. Oh, oh, no one ate it. Can't believe it. <laughs> You're there. I'm over here. <laughs> and this is what happens a lot of times. Out here you get the double headers. Unbelievable. Yeah, Isn't that like crazy? You got your guy, my guy went way down. Double headers on the dry fly. Unbelievable. Your, guys went, your guy went way the down. Of the day. Yeah, well, look at that. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa. Wow, I may have to, uh, I may have to move us into softer water. <laughs> my guy's right at the back of the eddy. Holy cow. Oh, he he's way down there. Yeah. He might come back around, hopefully, with the... Yeah, I got him up. How are you making out on yours? My He's guy's here. my guy's holding out here. Oh, we'll try to get him in the net. We'll try to try to get two in the net. My guy's in the net. Guy's oh, coming over. Gorgeous. I'm just gonna take the fly out while I can. Right in the right in the side lip. I'll get this out of the way. Oh. Okay. okay. Yeah. Oh, oh look at that. Oh my. Look at that. Okay, we got the little guy. You go release the little guy. The big guy, you know what we're gonna do with that fish, the other fish? Since he took it deep, he took it deep. Yeah, and he you're allowed some kills. nice fish. I mean he might recover, but he's yeah, bleeding pretty he's bad. Bleeding. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna keep him. You're allowed two fish over 24, one, two under 20. This one is this one's gorgeous. Like my father-in-law. My yeah. father-in-law loved that fish. Look yeah, at look that. at him. I mean, yeah. he's big. He's bleeding. He's bled out. Yeah. But look at the size of him. Yeah. You know, and that's we'll keep him. We got a nice fish yeah. to keep. Hey, that's the way it goes sometimes. Yeah, he's bleeding. I don't. Yeah. Think oh he's, no, he he's wouldn't. He wouldn't make, recover. No. But that's what you do too. If if they take it deep. Some, a lot of times we cut them off. Cut it off. But, it but you like know, it looked one. like it was pretty good. And then no, it, it just yeah. must have nicked one must of have those. Must have nicked some. And back by yeah. the gill. Even with uh, the dry flies, you know, hey, like they'll take that one. That happens. That, that's the way it is. But that is, uh, that's going to go in the smoker for my father-in-law. Beautiful. You've got to cut in the back. Another double head. My guy's gone again. Oh, is it? Yeah, how come your guy's bolt? Well, my guy's I, come in. I'm, I'm casting way out. Oh, because you're out further yeah. back here. Yeah, I'm fishing up at the front. No, I'm getting whoa, them on. Whoa, 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 whoa. I'm getting them on the outside. Oh, I it looks like he's got to move us into <laughs> softer water again. Oh, gee, yeah. He's deep. My guy's still. My guy's deep, too. Nope, my guy's in the lip, so that's good. Right in the corner of the oh, lip. My guy's still on there, I can't. I don't know. What did you do? Real. I think you got I, a real. Well, I lost him, I'm sure. You got a real, man. No, he's gone. He's, he's gone? Yeah. Yeah. He's gone. He went down and under. Oh, tragic. Oh, look at this guy. I want to show. The double header in the net. <laughs> you blew it. I blew it. I blew it. Yeah. Oh. Wow. Yeah, a guy with. Uh, yeah. Another gorgeous bow. Oh, look at that. Flies yeah. out. Yeah. <laughs> That's what happened to mine. Just at the. And again, nice, gorgeous rainbow. And there it goes. Killer. It is. Well, 
Hope everybody enjoyed that. That's enough dry fly. You know, we're gonna, we're, of course, we're gonna stay out we're gonna, all yeah. night. But holy cow, isn't that insane? Well, it's all day. It's just all constant. Day. I mean, you never go more than five minutes without a fish on. So. Fish going steady. They're still in the back yeah. in the soft water with the small flies, but tougher. And on that fast water, whenever you get on the fast water, go big. Go so big. go big, fast water, think small <laughs> in the calm water. calm water. There you go. Exactly. So hope everybody enjoyed it. Take care, conserve waters, and we'll see you next time we take you sport fishing on the fly. Okay, back at her. <laughs>